absolutely love the Club Chelsea trundle bed playset, inspired by Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. However, it's not gonna fit our Snapstar Chelsea's. So, we've gotta make it bigger. Time for a versus. This playset cost us $14.88, so we've gotta try to make ours for the same price or less. So let's start by recycling doll packaging. I'm using the paperboard back from the box. Other good sources of paperboard are cereal boxes and stuff like that. I lay the doll onto the box to measure for length and width. I drew a rectangle that is about 9 by 5 inches. Cut it out to be the base of our bed. Add more layers for strength. Cut leftover paperboard into 3 quarter inch strips. I use a glue stick to glue the pieces together. Take popsicle sticks. I already had these, but they can be purchased at the dollar store. Glue them going down the middle of the thin rectangles. It might help to draw a line first, so they are glued on at the same spot. Glue the large rectangle on top of the popsicle sticks. Take wooden dowels. These were $1.67 at Walmart. Cut two 4-inch pieces. Then cut two that are five inches. Glue the paperboard to the wooden dowels two and a half inches from the bottom to make the post for the bed. Measure more paperboard. Cut it to fit the bottom and top of the bed. This one is about two inches. Cut and glue together smaller strips of paperboard that can fit going across the wooden dowels. Borrow a few toothpicks from the kitchen. Trim them down. Glue them to the paperboard. I made the ones for the top of the bed a little longer than the ones for the bottom. Cut another strip of paperboard and fold it in half. Draw a curved line. Cut on the line drawn. Open it up. Trace it to make more. Stack and glue them together. Glue them on top of the toothpicks. Then glue them onto the bed to make the headboard and footboard. Glue beads onto the corners. I think the bag of beads was about a dollar. Add a few more pieces of paperboard across the front for extra detail. Now we need to make a bed that goes underneath. Cut eight and a half by five inch rectangles. Stack and glue a few together. Cut one inch strips to go around the sides. Glue popsicle sticks in the middle just as before. Glue them around the large rectangle to make a tray. Add strips of paperboard for a little design to make a bed that can slide underneath. Paint it with acrylic paint. The paint was 97 cents at Walmart. I chose to make both of them the same color, even though the original bed used two different colors. While waiting for it to dry, use a needle and thread to sew pillows and covers. I used fabric quarters, which were 97 cents each, and I bought four different ones and I used felt to stuff the pillows and the mattress, and those were 23 cents each, and I used two. Once the paint has dried, make the bed. Add one of our BT21 plushies to make a bed for our dolls. For the nightstand, let's use recycled paperboard. Draw rectangles on the paperboard. I have a two inch by three inch rectangle in the center, then one inch tabs going around the sides. Cut it out. Lightly score the lines, and remember, always have adult supervision when crafting. Now we can fold them over and have a sharp edge. Use tape to secure it at the corners to make a tray. Make two that are the same size. Cut leftover paperboard to start forming a shelving unit around the boxes. And I cut a small piece of paperboard to make a shelf in between. So these should be able to sit inside of this larger box. Cut small semicircles. To keep the cost down, I cover them with white computer paper. The paper helps to give the box more strength. Glue in the shelf. Paint leftover pieces of paper. Once dried, cut them to fit the front of the drawers. Glue beads to the bottom to make a nightstand. Then we're gonna add a few books on top because Chelsea is all about puppy literacy. Seriously, I've been watching Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures and Chelsea wants to teach puppies how to read. These are our printable children's holiday books to complete our Chelsea trundle bed. I tried to keep the colors pretty similar. They've got bright rainbows on their bedding. 
I went with polka dots because that was as close as I could get. I love the pattern on their nightstand, however I chose to keep mine a little more simple because we already had so much pattern on the bedding. We've both got teddy bears. Well, I've got a koala head, but it's pretty close. Yellow pillows. And of course, a bed that slides out. Our bedroom set cost $8.13 half of which was just for the fabric. Not too bad. But I think this bed could use a room. I take foam board from the dollar store, cut out two walls and a floor, cut out a window from the side wall, cover the floor with a wood grain scrapbook paper. For the walls, we are going to make our own wallpaper. I start by taking computer paper and painting it gray. This is a very light gray. I'm just doing the best that I can to get an even coat. Once it is dried, take a Q-tip, dip it into a little bit of paint, then make dots on the paper. Use a variety of different colors. I'm using a light teal, lavender, and pink. Once it's dried, begin gluing it onto the walls. Cut clear plastic from packaging, glue it behind the cutout, glue strips of foam board across the top, and sides of the window. Glue the walls to the floor. Finish trimming the walls with foam board. I added a trim around the top and baseboards. But before I add the baseboards to this wall, I use leftover foam board to make a bookcase. I glue it right to the wall, then finish the baseboards. Add our DIY doll furniture. Glue hemmed fabric to the walls for curtains. Fill the bookcase with books. Add a few small toys and doll accessories to the shelves. Cut out small pictures. Glue them onto white paper. Cut them out, leaving a border. Glue them onto a string. Glue the string onto the wall above the bed to make a room inspired by Chelsea's room from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. And of course, we can't forget the puppies. Chelsea loves puppies. We can totally use this room for any of our custom Chelsea's. I like the idea that Chelsea has transitioned out of a toddler bed to a twin size bed. Chelsea, go jump in on the bed. This is a room that she can easily grow in and hang out with her friends. Thank you for joining us while we made our own Chelsea bedroom set. Let us know what you would like for us to remake in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting!